Well, I think it also ties into the psychology in terms of like Brene Brown and the power of vulnerability. She talks about the real connection comes through shame, which is really revealing your real self to somebody. Uh, but when we reveal something of your real self, it's something that, I mean, she talks about shame is that you're afraid, you're giving somebody ammo to use it against you because you're really insecure about this this location or this this part of your, your soul. And, uh, but that's real weakness. And that's how people connect is through weakness because that's, you know, that's, that's the, you, you show weakness, which is really a powerful tool, not just a tool, but it's powerful, a motivator because they, they see that you're able to be your real self. You're not this pretend anymore. People don't connect with the false self. They connect with the real self. So I think it goes back to C.S. Lewis in terms of the four loves, um, just yeah. that you have to be able to allow yourself to feel emotion because what happens when, when they get hurt, hurt with love, people become very stoic. And the problem is, is that the emotions is connected to both to positive emotions and whatever you call it, emotions and emotions, positive and negative. It's sadness and happiness is all connected. So if you still want to feel real love, you have to allow yourself to feel emotion. And in order for you to really connect, you have to be vulnerable, which is revealing your shame and allowing somebody the ability to hurt you emotionally, which is scary, especially as men, especially in marriage, because it's, it can be used against you in the future, right? You're trusting right. them to protect that. So 